Okay, so we're out at our Malvern project today, our luxury residence, and we're spraying the shotcrete walls of the basement. Unfortunately, we've had a pretty good run of weather, but last night we copped 10 mil worth of rain and rock up to site and our basement's actually a swimming pool. So we've delayed the concrete pour by about half an hour to an hour to so enable us to pump out some of the water uh, and maybe even get a machine down there and scrape back the, um, that top layer of sludge off the, uh, off the basement floor. Um, so we can actually make it a bit of a safe working environment and also get the job done as soon as we can. So I've got Matt here from Verdcon uh, Shock Creating and they're doing all the shock creating walls for us today. Wanted to give you guys a bit of an insight about the process and what needs to happen before the guys get on site and then also when they are on site and actually working. So Matt, do you want to just tell me a little bit about what you need to do before you get on site? Yeah, so initially we'll touch base with the contractor, the, yep. the, in this case it's the concreter who's yeah. looking after the, the site, um, coming in, do an inspection once he's setting up the steel, yeah. getting all the starter bars into the piles, yes. the concrete piles. Yep. Um, so you'll come and do a site inspection yeah, as well? Come in, come in prior to the, to the spray. Yeah, sure. And check all that out, make sure it's how we need it. So, and then what about the finish? Let's talk, talk us through what happens. So you'll spray your shock crate on, yeah, so gets, and then what, ha what happens after that to finish it? On, and then, so as he's spraying it, the guys are following him, yep. putting the levels in, yep. cutting it with the trimmer, rechecking it with the level, making sure it's right. Yep. Then another next process of coming through, floating that, mm. so going through with a poly float. And then we give it another hit for the mm -hmm. float, just to flatten it out, take out any lumps and bumps. Yep. And then the finishes come through, They'll give it, in this case, we'll probably go three passes with the trail. Yep. Get a nice, yeah, nice smooth finish on the wall. I think that's good, mate. Uh, very insightful. I hope you guys learned something about uh, what goes on when you're doing your, your shot crate to your walls. You can also use the shot creating, you'll commonly use shot creating in a concrete pool as well. So very similar application. It is a different finish and, and there is a bit more skill set involved in, in both actually, it's just different. But um, this, is, uh, this is how we go about doing it in a basement. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, mates. And uh, looking forward to see you on the next one. Yeah, absolutely. Too easy. Thanks, mate. So. So I couldn't ask for a better day today to pour the uh, basement slab here at our luxury residence in Malvern. Uh, we haven't had that run for the last probably month. We've had a really wet winter this year, so we've been constantly pumping out water from our basement. Um, and to hit this milestone's been a really good achievement by all involved, so it's credit to the whole team. Um, what the boys are doing today uh, and pouring behind me is we've got an exposed ag uh, throughout the whole basement. Originally it was going to be tiled in the back part of the basement and just grey concrete here, but clients decided to do an exposed ag polished concrete floor, which is going to look fantastic. And the fact that, he's in, that the fact that we're incorporating this in the actual garage part of the basement will look sensational. So looking forward to showing everyone what that's going to look like. So we've designed this basement as a wet basement uh, and what I mean by that it is to control any water that comes in rather than stopping it all together. And what you see around the perimeter of the whole basement is we've got a spoon, we've got a spoon drain, we had a spoon drain originally but what we've done is we put 90-45 pike of timber and that way in the event that any water does get into the basement we can control it away into the, into the storm water system. So it's peace of mind for the client but it's also good for us as a builder because I never want to be coming back to fix you know, damage as a result of, of, you know, water getting into the dwelling. So it's an important aspect for us. Um, pretty much at the end of that block work wall, that's where the entertainment area starts as well in the basement. So what's going to happen is they'll, they'll have a, a glass, we'll have a glass window there. So it's all going to be open and, and you'll be able to see right through and it'll look fantastic. Like that's going to be one of my favorite parts of this actual house when it's finished. So the room behind me is actually not a storage room, it's actually going to house all our pool equipment. Now given the pool's on the other side of, the, of that wall behind us, we're going to have to run our pipes through the basement or through the back of the basement. We're going to have to core through this wall and bring in the pipes to service the swimming pool from there. So um, there is a bit of work involved with that, but ultimately we're, we're hiding all our pool equipment. It's easily accessible and I think it's going to be the best result for, for that application.
following the pour today, we're actually going to get stuck straight into the formwork. We'll let the slab cure for a couple of days because we do want it to, to achieve some compressive strength. I don't want to load it up with formwork straight away because it'll, it'll encourage cracking. So what we'll end up doing is uh, probably on Friday this week, we'll get uh, material loaded in and then the following week we'll start erecting all, this, all the formwork. Once the formwork's done, uh, the post-tensioning will happen, reinforcement. Um, we'll get all our sign-offs and then get started with, uh, with pouring the suspended slab. So a lot of work's got to happen between now and the next couple of weeks uh, and we'll be showing you all of that as well.